Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. The model cycle varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. It can be three years, four years, or it can be longer. And uh, it's extremely important that when you're buying a new car that you understand and know what that cycle is for the model that you're interested in buying. Uh, I always advocate stick with the latest model car if you're leasing or buying. Now, I know there's an argument to be made for buying the old style particularly when the new style is just coming out and there's maybe rebates and sales being run for the old model. But in my experience of some 46 years in this business, the uh, discounts that you get on the old model before the new model changeover occurs do not offset the depreciation factor that you experience. You, you, you experience a super depreciation when you go from an old model style to a new model style. And you just don't save enough money. They lead you to believe you do. The manufacturers will sometimes give manufacturing rebates to dealers, discount it. But I'm, in my experience, you, you, you're better off to pay a little higher price for the new model. And that's not to say that you want to buy the new model the first day it hits the showrooms. Because when the new models come out, the dealers will mark them up. They use the phony Monroney. They mark them up with addendum labels. Sometimes if it's a super hot model, high demand, low supply, uh, you'll you'll see addendum labels for five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. When you get a new model Chevrolet Corvette, the dealers will, will take the sticker price, the MSRP, mark it up ten or twenty thousand dollars. So it's all a matter of the specific model. It's a matter of supply and demand. And initially, you know, there's a certain group of people out there in the market, they want to have the first of everything. They're standing in line, and they're willing to pay the price. So they watch the newspaper, they watch the television, they hear all the, all the rumors, they get on the Internet, when's that new model coming out? And, uh, and then the day that it hits the showroom, there's that guy standing there, you know, I want a new so-and-so. I want the first one on the block. I want to drive it home. I want to have the first of this new model. You pay through the nose for that. And if you want it that badly, that's fine. But you're going to pay thousands of dollars more. My advice is when a new model comes out, sit back and wait a little bit. You can come in. You can test drive it. You can look at it. Don't buy it. And certainly not during the first few days. Typically, this uh, demand from these niche buyers that have to have the first car that comes out, uh, that drops off pretty quickly. Sometimes it lasts, you know, it might last months. Usually it's uh, just a matter of weeks, and sometimes it's not even that. But be very careful. You're, you're better off to wait a month and save three or $4,000, and that's exactly what can happen. The way you really can be victimized is the salesman who is pushing the old model doesn't tell you that the new model is coming out next week. You could make a huge mistake by not even knowing that the old model is going to be last year's goods when the new model comes out. So uh, get on the Internet. It's your best friend. Go to uh, all, you know, my favorite sites like Consumer Reports. Uh, go to Edmunds.com. Go to KellyBlueBook.com and do your homework, do your due diligence. You, they'll tell you exactly when these new models are expected. In fact, sometimes they'll even have tested the model, and you'll know whether it's uh, something you want to consider buying or not. Then when you know the model cycle, you're not going to make that fatal mistake by not even knowing the new model's coming out next week. So uh, it's something to be considered uh, very, very seriously. No matter what you're going to buy, just be absolutely sure you know when the next model change on that model is going to occur. 